All right, YouTube. Remember last video? Got my windage tray on, got my timing set on. Uh, I did put my oil pump on. I don't know if I gave you a video of that or not. Got the bolts tight, gaskets on. I usually use copper coat with those gaskets. Real thin layer both sides, let it get tacky, stick it on. Um, you can kind of see through here. Got, got good clearance between my bolt or my nut and my pickup tube and clearanced. Remember I had to bend that down between my windage tray and my pickup tube there. So got that done. I'm satisfied with the bottom end. Um, this timing chain I'm sending back to Summit. Look, it just, both sides is that sloppy. So. If you would imagine, let me see here. If the motor was torqued and that side was tight, see if I can pull it. Look at look at that amount. I mean, come on. Six thousand RPM. That could be flying in the wind. So this is coming off. I didn't actually have it super tight. Um, I'm boxing it back up and sending it back to them. I'm gonna go ahead and buy the true roller, pay the extra 15 bucks and have it done. So also look at this. That was something I didn't discuss. That's crazy. I mean, and even the, even the links, if I can pull that. That's just poor quality. I can't, I'm not gonna run that. There's no way. So I'll get it pulled off and I'm gonna throw my oil pan on today. I normally like to have my front cover on first and then I'll have my rear seal in, drop that down, seal it all up. But the motor's been open for too long. I don't like any particles of dust or anything. I've had it sealed up pretty well, but if I can get the oil pan on, I'll flip it over I'm ready to throw the heads on. I've got a my new intakes here, and I'll do a separate video on that. Um, it's a wind stealth, I believe. So here's my my oil slinger. I got to get on, but I got to get it cleaned up all anyway. So I'll be right back with you, and I'll pull that pull that off, and go ahead and start doing a, my rear seal. So here we are. Hopefully you can hear me today. The boat side. It's just so sloppy. Get that crap out of here. And let me turn it like that. So here's a product that I always liked. We call this Yellow Dog, but it's uh, weather strip and gasket adhesive. That's what I'm gonna glue my rear seal on with. I'll just run a thin layer across the top. And all it's doing is holding it down long enough to get the oil pan on then it'll anywhere you put that it seals it i mean it glues you get it on your skin you got to get some brake cleaner lacquer thinner to take it off so there it's coming out let me get busy i'll show you that doesn't take much stop get my cat back on yeah, I got I got clothes from three or four years ago that still has yellow dog on it. So it's good stuff. There's that rear seal. Get it off my skin before it decides to dry. And then in my corners, I'm just going with ultra black. So I'll put a dab there, put a dab there, stick the seal on, push it down, glue my uh 
pan gaskets on, drop my pan on, seal it up today. There's that. And see, even this stuff, you can let it get tacky. There we are. I like the yellow dog. Oil pan gaskets, you'll notice they're not exact copies of each other. Let me put them, so if I put my two blues like that, That's the same. But if I flip that over, line those holes up, it's a little bit different. See that, that kick out right there? So the skinny parts, I like to put towards the front of the motor. And the big round, see if I hold them side by side. The full curve, I always put at the back. So again, do it how you want to. That's just how I do it. Never had one leak yet. They go like that and that. And I think for these, I'll just run some black around. Set it up there. Just very, very thin. Uh, some people don't use any sealant here, which seems crazy to me. We've we'll already wiped that with brake cleaner. It's got a little paint left, that doesn't really matter. Nobody ever see it. Put some in the corners. There we go. See if I can pick you up. And just give it a little smear. Very, very fine amount. If some gets in the hole, you don't want too much, but that's okay. See, it's like microscopically thin. You don't want a bunch of gasket maker rolling through your motor. See my gasket popped up just a second. Get that back down. I'll come back to that. Wipe off my smearing finger. If the bolt holes don't line up right now, they're not going to, so keep that in mind.
that stack again. Okay. And a little bit on the top side. I guess I can put it on my finger and wipe it if you'd rather me. The gas is going to do the work. It's just kind of holding it in place. And some people don't like cork gaskets. That's what came in this Felpro kit. I'll be so happy the bottom end sealed up. And I've got my, if you see my other red sled videos, I've got the uh, engine stands built and ready. So whenever this thing gets put together, it'll go on there and get the cam broke in. Be sure there's no problems. A little dab, a little dab. Wiping off my smearing finger again. And there's your oil pan. Drain plug goes towards the back. If you don't know that, you probably shouldn't be building a motor. Right? I'll put a little bit on here just for kicks. That black gasket, which it's a rubber. Kind of one of those better safe than sorry. So that's where that rubber contacts. Just a real light smear. Some people wouldn't put anything on it, but it's your motor. Do your motor the way you want to. Drop her down. This is where if you had some oil pan studs, it'd be real nice. I don't. There we go. Rocking on that gasket back there. Let's get some bolts started. I like to start all my bolts before I tighten any down. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, 16. These are the factory bolts that I cleaned up. Sorry about that, my other camera died. I'm running out of time. Precious, precious time. So I was, I got all these on, started in the center, worked my way backwards. So I went here, 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 here. And these are just getting snug. I got you there so you can see Start to watch that pull down. See, I feel like getting tight, I'll stop. Go back to that one a little. Losing a little paint. That's okay. Get this picked up so you can watch it. As you tighten, you'll see it start to squish, like right there. Don't over tighten it, right? That's fine for that. See it pulling down. I'll go back this way. You can always check check these again later, right?
That was just touching. See what I'm doing here. I thought the close up was better. Forgot my other camera at the other shop. So. Too many irons in the fire. See that paint just chipping off there? It's crazy. I, what I should have done was probably take a red scuff pad to that, which I painted this thing four or five years ago and it just sat. So I'll hit them all one more time. One, two, three, four, come on, five, six, already got that. I see it is loosened up some. Seven. Watch that squish right there. See that's loose again. Eight. Stop. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nah, that oil paint is on, sealed up. I feel so much better. And I'll catch y'all next time.